Jones here, helping you to become HR wise. Now, by September of this year, I'd already started thinking about goals and what I wanted to acquire for um, 2021. Now, around um, late October um, through into November, I took a few weeks off to rest and recuperate. And it's during this time I had a conversation with someone and the essence of the discussion was this. Given the context of 2020, COVID-19, and people losing loved ones, and others barely holding on to their mental health, instead of asking what you've achieved in 2020, ask yourself, what have you learnt from 2020? I thought that was a powerful question to think and reflect on. Now, since then, I've come to realise that I hold what I learnt in 2020 in far greater esteem than what I achieved in 2020. I've learnt that what I've um, taken from 2020, the learning, is far, far more valuable than what I achieved. I'm grateful for all the goals that I've achieved and I am in the process of achieving, but what I've learnt, well, that's in another class altogether. And I've learnt to be and not keep on doing, to sit quietly instead of juggling numerous tasks at the same time. As one person said to me quite wisely, we are human beings, not human doings. So some of the other things I've learned. I've learned to set firm boundaries and adhere to them without apology. I've learned to be kind to myself. I've also learned to focus on fewer things and do those things really well. And I've learned to, sorry, I've learned what I do is not who I am. And I've also learned even more importantly than all of those things, well, I've learned to rest. As one person said, a changed mind is a changed life. And I can certainly appreciate that sentiment now after I've had all of this rest. Now, I'm looking forward to setting goals in 2021, but those goals have to primarily enhance the quality of my life and the lives of others and where I can be rather than just, rather than just simply doing. And this time around, I'm going to be more intentional and I'm going to be more thankful about the quality of the process and the or quality of the process rather and the journey rather than the goals per se. In other words, if anything, you know, if there's a goal that I want to set and it degrades the quality of my life in any way, it's not a goal or dream worth pursuing. And I'll just chalk that up to it being it's not a no, it's a no starter or it's gut to gut. So another year, 2021, will soon be upon us. Perhaps you can set time aside to consider what you've learned from 2020 and what you've learned, how it will inform how you will choose to live out the next year and the dreams and the goals you want to see manifest in your life. It's a question worth pondering, isn't it? So as you ponder, may you be enriched by your thoughts. And in the meantime, remember, be HR wise. Bye-bye.